So in this video here, we're going to generate Aruko markers with OpenCV. So Aruko markers can actually be used for a lot of different kind of things. So we have these markers here in the top right corner. So we can actually like generate different kind of like Aruko markers. We have methods in OpenCV to do that. And then we can actually like do detection and even post estimation on these Aruko, like based on their orientation, like rotation translation, um, if they're tilted and so on. And then we can use that to actually like generate some um, augmented reality applications and projects in OpenCV. Yeah, and it's actually like really easy to set up. We only need like a couple of functions, but I'm going to create a couple of videos here showing you guys how we can actually like use the Aruko markers within OpenCV to create these applications and projects. But first of all, remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video. Only 10% of you guys watching these videos here are actually like subscribed to the channel. It's just a single click and it helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. You can also sign up and enroll in my OpenCV GPU course if you want to like speed up your computer vision applications and projects. Uh, if we're only using the CPU, we're only able to like run a couple of frames per second. But if you're utilizing the GPU with OpenCV for computer vision applications, we can actually like make them run in real time. So that's a really nice course and it can be useful for a lot of different kind of like real life applications. So thank you guys. So we're gonna jump straight into the code. First of all, I'm just going to go over the lines of the code. We also have like an Aruko a dictionary here where we can create all these different types of Arukos. And then we can actually like just call the method generate from OSV. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. Then it will generate our Arukos. And then we can use um, that to pass into other functions where we can act like both detect our Arukos, where are they? We will like, like assign an ID to them. So we can like, for example, like track where are the specific Arukos in the image so we know like exactly where that Ruko is that can be used for a lot of different kind of things and it's very useful information to know like where is this exact uh, Ruko in the image it's really important for computer vision applications and projects and then in the in the upcoming videos we're going to see how we can actually like, detect these Rukos. And we're also going to do post estimation where we're going to draw like um, a 3D coordinate system on top of our Ruko. So we can actually like detect and then we can do it on live. So we're going to open up a camera. Then we're going to do live post estimation of these Ruko. And that is really crazy. It can be used for a lot of augmented reality applications and projects within computer vision. So that is going to be a really cool video that we're going to do. But first of all, here we're importing NumPy and OpenCV, so CV2. And then we're going to create this Ar Aruko dictionary where we basically just have all the different kind of like Aruko markers that is available in OpenCV. I just created this dictionary here. Again, all the code for my videos is available on my GitHub. So just go down to the description and you will find the link to my GitHub. You can go in there, just copy paste the code and use it in your own projects and applications. So here we have our direct dictionary of our Rukos. These are not really that um, that interesting. We have like four by four, five by five, and up till seven by seven Rukos. And then we have the different kind of like sizes of our Rukos as well. So we're just going to generate a couple of different Rukos in this um, in this video here, and then we're going to use them in the next video. So down here we need to specify first the Ruko type that we want to generate. So let's just go up here and start with a small one to, uh, first of all. So we're going to take this dict four by four and then we have a size of 1000 and then we can also assign an, an id to that aruko if we for example want to generate uh, additional or like more um, of the exact same aruko or like different arukos we can also assign an id to them um, so we can then save them into a folder if you want to have like a full loop generating these arukos then we'll need to like assign an id to each of them so we have these unique arukos in our folder Basically here, we need to set up our Aruko dictionary first of all. We'll just go inside cv2.aruko. So this is a new module within OpenCV that we haven't discovered before. So we have cv2.aruko.dictionary.get. And then we basically just pass in the dictionary type. So we have our Aruko type inside of our dictionary, which will be our Aruko dict. So when we pass this one in here, we will act like just go up here. We'll take this dictionary and then it will return this value here. And this is basically just a number for like getting the correct Aruko dictionary in uh, OpenCV. And then we just return that and set that equal to our Aruko dictionary, which we need to like pass into our drawer marker. And then we can also just write our uh, markers directly as in PNG. So here, first of all, we're getting our Aruko dictionary and then we can draw the marker here with OpenCV2. So we're basically just drawing our um drawing our marker on top of an, an empty numpy arrays containing zero so here we have the, our tag size we need to set that so right now we're using a tag size of 1000 we just bring out what type and what id are we using 
and then we create our tag here which will contain like uh, zeros here numpy zero so we initialize and matrix with the tag size by tag size so this is basically just a 1000 by 1000 uh, ruko marker that we're going to create and then we just have one dimension because we have just uh, a png image where we have these white and black pixels and then we just set it the d type here equal to unassigned 8-bit integer and now we can basically just draw our marker here so on top of our tag we will basically just draw this uh, dict or like a ruko marker that we specified up here at the top we also pass in the id the tag size and also the tag so this is the, uh, the empty uh, numpy array initialized with zeros and then we basically just draw our markers on top of that then our image or our Aruko marker will be stored in this tag variable here we just specify a tag name we use imride to actually like generate our Aruko marker we pass in the tag name and then we also pass in the tag which is our Aruko marker and then we're just going to show it here with with OMSV as well. So it the exact same thing as we're saving to the folder with Aruka markers, which will be the exact same thing that we're going to show here um, in the window with OMSV. We're going to have a wait key, so we just wait until we have a key until we we'll terminate the program, and then we destroy all the windows. So now we can basically just run this program here and see the results. So now we can see we have this Aruko tag here. It will be the four by four, and then the size here will be one thousand. Then we can just try to like play around with it and try some other different kind of values. We can also take this five by five to 50. We're just going to copy paste it. We can just run the program here again. And now we will actually like just do this type of Ruka marker here, which is five by five. And then we have 250 by 250. Before we do that, we actually need to specify, we need to change this variable here as well. So the size will be 250 by 250 instead of 1000 because we have this a Ruko type here up at the top now so here we just run it again with the id1 and then we can basically see that we just create this new Ruko tag here with another dimension if you just go up into the folder here we can now see all the things that we have in our Ruko marker so here we can see all the things that we have um that we have saved and it will also save it with both the tag size and also the id that we assigned to our Ruko marker so this can be a lot of different kind of things. Right now, we're just going to generate them. In the next couple of videos, we're actually like going to do detection with a live camera of these different kind of like Arugos here on my calibration board. And then we're also going to do post estimation. So this is going to be really cool and it can be used for a lot of different kind of things as I mentioned in the start of the video. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, remember to subscribe button and bell notification under the video. And also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future. It just helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. I'm just doing this computer vision tutorial here where we go over like all the basic stuff about like computer vision, like the theory behind some of the methods. We're doing camera calibration, stereo vision, and so on. So if you're interested in the whole tutorial, I'll link to it up here or else I'll see you next video, guys. Bye for now.